But this next topic is Fort Worth rap legend Go Yayo. <laughs> Scheduled to be released from federal prison, I think, this year. He a legend? <laughs> from Fort Worth? Of course. Damn. <laughs> if you, anybody's a legend from Fort Worth or anywhere in that area, it's Lil Ronnie. Lil Ronnie? Yep. You throw that Get ass my, to the sun. <laughs> nah. Fuck yeah, good that. money, Ronnie. No, nah, fuck him. No, oh, okay, okay. Fuck okay. him. I'm talking about uh, the ball head. Yeah, motherfucker. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's a legend, motherfucker. But he from Dallas, though. Yeah, ain't that Fort Worth? No, see, it's people, all the same no, thing to Houston you, niggas. In 2024, going forward, we gonna start not being disrespectful. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a make it to make it sense to all Houston I people. Ain't Dallas, I mean Fort Worth, ain't Dallas. Look, I'm, to make it make sense, Fort Worth to Dallas is like Beaumont to Houston. Shit, I don't know where Beaumont is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different town. It's a whole different town. Hey, that's some shit. Right. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Go yeah, yo. Fort Worth. You think he's not a legend? Yeah. Alright. Cool. I only know two songs from Bo. Right. I'm not I'm not talking about my opinion, but I'm just, you know, people will regard him as the, the, the nigga who really got that Fort Worth shit popping. He did? I would say a lot of people would say that. I'm not saying that. You know who I've heard about from Fort Worth? Before? First? First? Who? Uh, OG Percy. Okay. That's who popped it off for me. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I would say musically, though. Like, music. OG Percy a rapper, ain't he? Yeah, but, I mean, OG Percy, man. I, hey, but if that's how you found out mo for, about Fort Worth, that's cool. I don't care, but uh, when I heard Bone, I didn't know, bro, was from Fort Worth. Okay. I, I, to be honest, bro, he I think he started me. the wave of Fort Worth rap. Okay, now if 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 that's the case, then yeah. You know what I'm saying? He he probably he probably paved the way for Fort Worth for Fort Worth rappers. You know what I'm saying? Tight shit. So if that was, if that's what I want to call him a legend for, then so be it. Yeah. But I only heard Boom and Rambo. Okay. Cool. So I can't call him a legend. The only legend I know from goddamn Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's goddamn Lil Ronnie. Used to throw that ass in the circle, you feel me? Man, shout out Lil Ronnie, man. I want to get you on the interview, man. Nah, for sure, sure. <laughs> Lil Ronnie mother... You know what I'm saying? You feel me? All right, all right. Uh, so basically, Go Yeah, you're not a legend in your book, but, but I'm really asking... He drops his new price on it. Because, you know, nowadays is a different age. You're in jail, you can still have your people do your internet shit. Jail Goya is supposed to get out 2024, this year. And he drops his show price and feature price upon release. How much? 50K for a show, 25K for a feature. Your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> What you mean? He better get his ass to fuck on so well. Now the now the show shit, okay, possibly. But ain't nobody probably gonna pay your 50K ass. 50K for a show for Go Yeah? Fuck out of here. Bro. You think he could get a, a 50? He probably can because he got fans, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, got, yeah for sure. I ain't gonna care, you know what I'm saying? I was a fan of the boom movement, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I seen this couple fights and all the other shit, bro. I ain't gonna care. I was a little fan, you know what I'm saying? I fucked with him, you know what I'm saying? But I only heard two songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He but got hella songs. He got hella songs, bro, but I wasn't interested into listening to yeah. the whole... If you Okay, if you could grade Go Yeah Your Skills as a rapper on a scale... Bro, of five. Bro, huh? hard. On a scale of one to ten, what would you grade Go I'd yeah? give him about an eight. Okay, it just wasn't it, shit. Bro, energy is lit. From yeah. off them two songs that I heard... I think lit. he got star quality, though. Mm -hmm. Facts, like he yeah. a performer type shit. I done heard... I done seen a nigga perform all kind of shit. The book, I done seen him perform. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit, like... But he he's too far into the street mind mentality that I don't think that he would go for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he was, that nigga would be in the hood every goddamn day on some stupid shit. Well, I feel like he got a lot of shit to prove when he get out. Yeah, he yeah. ain't going to prove it. You don't think so? I don't think so. Yeah. He going to come out and talk about jail shit that nobody want to fucking hear. You think he missed his time? Yep. Damn. I, I believe that he wasted his opportunity. That's cold blooded. You know, I say he wasted his talent. And I, I could be wrong. It could be people out here want to pay his ass twenty five k for a feature. I wouldn't. 
You feel me? Well, shit, we gonna find out. We gonna find out sometime this year. That nigga gonna get out. He gonna motherfucker be doing songs with the same people. <laughs> that he been doing with the same with, flows and shit, doing the same shit, and end up on some honeycomb brazy shit. Damn, right back in jail. Damn, that's sad. What be happening to honeycomb brazy? He on, he one of them niggas that's like shit. He's insane. <laughs> Insanity means continue doing the same thing, expecting new outcomes. Can't get right. It, boom, there you go. Yeah. Can't get right like a motherfucker. And that's your boy. He had he he had the game in a chokehold. I think just like finesse, you know what I'm saying. I think yeah, y'all did too. Yeah, all of them. A lot of niggas, man. A lot of niggas had that shit. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all had it, motherfucker. Could have did bro, anything. That nigga, bro. Just like you say, bro. He motherfucking started the motherfucking Fort Worth vibe. He done brought everybody from Fort. Bro, I would never heard of uh uh his homie Lil Rodney, bro. Yeah. If I would never like, heard of him. I would have never heard of CJ Casino. I would have never heard of motherfucking uh, Bugatti Casino. He brought that light. He, so, yeah, he brought that light to a motherfucking forward. I give him that. Yeah, okay. That's a legendary Yeah, he thing. is a legend. Yep. I give him that. He is a motherfucking Fort Worth legend. Because nobody would have never heard of him. He basically South Walker of Fort Worth. You think so? Whoa, Boom. wait. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, so say that again. He South Walker of, of, of Fort Worth. Okay. He the, he is the sauce. He is they they whole little Fort Worth shit is they whole little sauce factory. Boom, there it go. And, and he sauce Walker. Yeah, he just got to but see with sauce Walker, sauce he, Walker. He sauce Walker was smart. Sauce, sauce Walker, Walker got, got that money. He didn't did everything he, he ever wanted to do. He got his ass the fuck out the motherfucking street. Yeah. He yeah. stopped thinking like a street nigga. Yeah. And he started getting the nigga is a fucking millionaire. Yeah, he makes great music now. He still make dumb ass decisions though. <laughs> But he make great music and great uh, decisions, uh, uh, great moves with his his money. Come on, sure, man. man. Come on, man. Fort Worth. I mean, Fort Worth. Uh, 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 what's that boy's name? Go Yayo. He's gonna get out. He gonna get that money. He gonna go get him a chain. Get him a watch. Dude. Nigga, you ain't gonna put no money into what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying. Facts. Uh, well, uh.